Hello, my beautiful Cancers. Welcome to your bi-weekly love forecast for February 12th to the 25th. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing, and thank you to all my members for all of your support. If you would like to become a member, all you have to do is click the join button below. And if you'd like a personal read with me or you'd like to pre-order my new Oracle deck, it's at jenniferwalkerzen.com or check out the description box below. So please remember that these are general messages. They're not gonna resonate with everyone. So please check your moon, your rising, or your sun sign for more information. Your sun represents your soul, your moon represents your emotions, and your rising sign represents your physical you. All three of these make up who you are, so feel free to cross, feel free to cross watch for more information. <laughs> Okay, so also guys, please let me know if you want me to do a special Valentine's Day reading. Well, let me know if you want me to do a collective or you want me to do it by signs. Let me know in the comments below if you're interested. And also remember today, what we're gonna be doing is we're going to do an assessment of your love interest. This could be for singles or couples and how they feel about you. Okay, then we're gonna do an outcome from February 12th to the 25th. And then we are going to do our singles so stick with me till the end let's jump right in and also remember that you guys have told me in the comments that sometimes both resonate with me so feel free to check out both and see which one resonates the most all right so what's going on with my cancers romantic love life for february 12th to the 25th cancer's romantic love life for february 12th to the 25th show me the cards i need to see show me the cards i need to see What's going on my Cancer's Romantic Love Life for February 12th to the 25th? Cancer's Romantic Love Life for February 12th to the 25th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. What is going on my Cancer's love interest? How does their love interest feel about them romantically? How does Cancer's love interest feel about them romantically? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards you need to see. Okay, so this is going to be for the current situation, okay, between you and this love interest. This is what's part of your blockage lane challenge when it comes to this connection. This is what they want to make the connection work. And this is the influence of the connection. This is the feelings. Wow, okay. Okay. Okay, and this is going to be the outcome for the date of February 12th to the 25th. Okay, so it looks like for you guys, and remember this can be singles or couples, singles or couples, and then we're gonna have the outcome and then we're gonna have the singles, so. So there's a sense that something has to be sacrificed here, hangman energy, or there's someone feels like they're really tangled, up tangled in something or like really, hooked onto something, or there's a sense of being stuck here. Yeah, I feel like there's like so much entanglement here. It's just like hard to break free. Okay, let's clarify that. Mm-hmm, side part is coming out. There's a sense that so something needs to be cut away or cut out. A decision needs to be made here, side card energy because obviously there is a sense of, I need to sacrifice something, or there's somebody's like, I need to see things from a new way and a new perspective, or there's a sense of something that's stuck. And why, what's going on? What's the block of Chilean challenge? Well, somebody could have to walk away from someone else with the Eight of Cups energy, or someone walked away, Eight of Cups energy, right? Or they're not even dealing with their emotions right now with the Eight of Cups energy, somebody. Because eight represents work and effort ship card somebody could have moved away there could have been some kind of movement or something that needs to change here ship card energy there could be a long distance situation going on ship card energy there could be something to do with travel here there could be a travel focused situation and if we go further what does this person need in order to make the connection work well they need passion <laughs> A's of Wands, pretty straightforward. They need uh, an opportunity of passion, renewed passion, Ace of Wands energy. Okay, that's pretty straightforward. And we got the Lily's card energy, patient energy for an opportunity of passion here. Okay. Or Lily's can also be seeing uh, a long time passion or could be seeing something to do with this wise decision when it comes to an opportunity of passion or this patient energy when it comes to opportunity of passion. Okay, so we see that there is this sense of stuck, 
because of an opportunity of passion, because someone is not facing their emotions, or they decided to walk away physically or mentally. And then we come here. What is the influence of this connection? Well, sun card energy is here. There is a sense of, there could be a focus on, is this gonna make me happy, right? That could be a part of it. Or someone's focus, wanting to focus on happiness here. And that could be the anchor in the situation, right? Stability or stableness could be the factor here. The sun card can also represent material abundance, okay? That could be influencing the situation because the fact the anchor is here. Or something is stuck because someone's like, I'm not completely happy or I wanna focus on my happiness here. So we see that there is something that is stuck because an opportunity passion and someone's not facing their emotions because they're walking away because of happiness. There is this abrupt decision or something that needs to be cut away or cut out after a long time and some kind of movement or change from this sense of stability to stabilis or something that's stuck here again with the hang, the, um, the anchor cards very similar to the hangman in the negative sense. However, we're seeing the sun card, so I wanna see the anchor as a positive sense. So I would say that the anchor is more about stability and stableness. So we see that there's a sense that something needs to be completed here about working towards a foundation or working together or there's more than one choice or option that somebody needs to put the work or effort into this. Okay, so how does this person feel about you, right? How does this person feel about you? Well, this person wants a reconciliation or this person is focusing on wanting, they want, they want some kind of healing or recovery here and uh, they feel uncertain. They feel uncertain and they just want to communicate with you and they want to talk with you. They want to have heart-to-heart -heart conversations with you. So they feel like, I want to have a reconciliation. I want things to heal here, but I don't know. I have uncertainty. So I really need to talk with them. I need to communicate with them. And also reconciliation can be an internal healing and recovery and they have this uncertainty and, and they just want to communicate with you. They want to have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. They want to talk to you. They feel like they want to talk with you. Okay, so let's see what's going on here. So if someone does feel like they're missing an opportunity with you with the Four of Cups energy. Or I feel like you have a lot of opportunities here, Cancer, and you're really just focused on this one particular one that's behind this person's head. I don't know if you can see that. But it's like you have these opportunities. You know you're aware of these opportunities, but you have that one particular one you have in mind that's over there to the side. And you're still getting over some things with the Ten of Swords energy. And you're doing some... You're trying to reveal some things, do some deep, heavy soul searching here with the Hermit Card energy. So I have a sense that you um, you have a lot of opportunities here, Cancer. You're still getting over some hurt or pain here. You're still dealing with it or you're feeling like backstabbed. And it's like you're still kind of revealing some things about what your wishes, your hope are. The reason I say that is because I see that there's a star inside of this person's lantern right? The hermit's lantern area. It looks like a star to me. So I feel like you're just trying to say, okay, what is my wish and my hope here around the situation? And it's interesting because the hermit is looking at this 10 of swords energy. It's like, you're trying to reveal some things about what happened and you're coming to a completion now. And it's something to do with this, this situation over here. Cause this situation over here also has flowers there. And for me, the bouquet energy is something to do with this attraction, this chemistry. I mean, you're like, all right, yeah, these options are great, but I don't know if I really want them. Or uh, there's a sense that there's somebody who feels like they're missing an opportunity with you. This could be also for some of you. Somebody's feeling like they're missing an opportunity with you and they're feeling hurt and they're hoping they're getting over this hurt and pain and they're trying to analyze the situation with the hermit card energy. Let's keep going. So I feel like someone's not being completely real about this person and uh, they have this, some challenges or strong desires here, or there's a sense of, can I reveal myself completely? Can I take off this mask to this person, to you? Okay, they, they, they're trying to figure out, should they take off their mask to you? Because they feel like there's gonna be some challenges there. So there's, there's a lot of thinking, contemplating, analyzing because that seven card energy. Four represents stability and stables and some sense of completion, but kind of this isolation card is like, all right, I just need to reveal some things here because I have uncertainty, I don't know, right? Because we're coming back up here. All right, let's keep going. So it looks like they wanna take charge of things to be victorious, but they just are having a sense of confusion with the moon card energy, but they really love you though with the king of cups energy. They're like, you're such a wise decision when it comes to love and romance. 
but and 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 they want to charge at you they want to they want to go towards you they want to come towards you and they just have this sense of confusion here and look at this person they're holding that crab and they're trying not to get bit by the crab right they're trying not to get like uh the, they're trying not to get hurt by this crab so they're kind of holding the crab like that like uh you know what I want to come at cancer and I love cancer, but I, I just don't know what's going to happen here. I have this uncertainty and this is the person you're dealing with. Obviously they want to reconcile with you, but they don't know what's going to happen. And they're like, all right, but I just need to communicate with them. I need to talk with them. All right, my darlings, if you guys like this, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. Um, we're going to move on to our singles. You can also stay tuned for the singles and see if it resonates with you as well. Okay. All right, so bear with me for a second here while I clear this out of the way. Okay, let me move this out of the way. What's going on with my cancer? Singles Romantic Love Life, February 12th to the 25th. Cancer Singles Romantic Love Life, February 12th to the 25th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. What's going on my Cancers? Singles Romantic Love Life, February 12th to the 25th. Cancer Singles Romantic Love Life, February 12th to the 25th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. I was just looking at my cat because my cat looks like she's noticing something over there and she's like looking at it in the air and there's nothing there. So, okay. So currently we see the page of pentacles energy. So we see that there is some potential new path for you guys, some serious new path here with the page of pentacles energy. Um, and also this person's reading a book here. So there is some sense of knowledge of this situation and someone's holding on to it. Like I have a sense that someone's trying to gain knowledge about what's going on with you and they're trying to hold on to, like they're trying to keep it close to the vest there. That's what I feel like with that card. And we see that there is some improvements and changes for you guys with the store card energy coming out. Let's see what your block actually in challenge is. Okay, so Emperor's coming out. Possibly the block actually in challenge could be something to do with work, something to do with a boss, or for some of you, a fatherly figure, okay? And we see that the writer card Maybe there's a lack of news around this situation because this represents news or possibly maybe somebody wants to pay your visit, but they, they, they have this sense of, I need to have things controlled and structured in a certain way. Okay, so let's see what the, the influence is. Ten of Pentacles. For some of you, the influence for your romantic love life is family and long-term commitment or something to do with money there. Because Pentacles can represent money. And we see the clouds card energy, which is causing some sense of confusion here, okay? And we see that there could be uh, some opportunity here with the, that one card energy. And we see the page, pages do represent potential here. And we see improvements and changes. So let's see the outcome here. Yeah, see page of cups. I told you guys you have potential here. But there is still some sense of heartache with the three of swords energy. Oh my God, soulmate connection, two of cups energy. So I feel like this person even though this is supposed to be a very positive looking card, this page of cups, this person kind of looks a little bit sad. They're looking down the cup. They're trying to get the water in the cup. You see that? And there is a sense of heartache here. Three of swords energy. But then you see that there is a soulmate connection, two of cups energy, a choice that's being made with the heart. These two people are coming together here and they're holding their cups together here. So you have this new path in love or this message of love coming in but there still seems to be a sense of heartache that's going on with you when it comes to the soulmate connection or the choice that you have to make with the heart here. Let's keep going here. Yeah, there's still some hurt and pain, whip card energy, because you're like, am I going in the right direction? And you have a sense that maybe this, this is, you're, you're trying to be very strategic here with the fox card energy. So I feel like your energy is like, okay, I still kind of feel like your guys are getting over some things or you're, you're afraid to get hurt here. And it's like, you're like, I don't want to keep going around in circles with the situation, so I just need to use my intelligence and my wits here to be strategic about this. Two is saying you're making a choice to really analyze things, analyze and contemplate about things because of some kind of change or challenge around this. And we see this message of love, new path and love, the sense of heartache, but do you have that soulmate connection here, love here with the two of cups energy or choice that has to be made with the heart here. All right, my darlings, if you guys like this, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. 
I will see you guys in another day or two. Remember the weeklies are the only ones where we're gonna put those on the schedule. The rest of the stuff is, the rest of the spreads are going to be every couple days like I always do, okay? I love you guys so much. I will see you guys in another day or two. Thank you to my members and I will see you soon.